Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and on this show we're going to be introducing you to GetK. So sit back and let knowledge flow in, because SE Geek begins now. Okay, in this tutorial we're going to be talking a little bit more about GetK. I showed you before, but uh, now we're going to go a little bit more in-depth on GetK. So, basically GetK is your you know, one-stop shop for looking at a Git repository, finding differences between files and whatnot, and I'm just going to be taking you through a whirlwind tour of some of the features. So. This is our, you know, just our test repository, and right here, right off the bat, you see, uh, you know, all the commits that we've made so far, and you see that, you know, we're the one who's made them. Uh, our email from the config file, which obviously is not set right, but, you know, and the date and time, and these are the particular, um, you know, commits. So if I, you know, click on one of them. I see the SHA number of that come up, which you know I talked a little bit about before, and I see this window, which is the diff window, which I can see the difference between you know it and the previous version. So you know you can see very quickly what changed. Now there's more that's going on here than you know just the diff. Uh, over here you see the files that have been affected in that commit. So most of these have been tests, but here test two has been affected. You know, so any files you'll see on this uh, in this pane that's changed, uh, as long as you you have patch uh, selected. If you have tree selected, you'll see something different. I'll show you that in a little while. So right now we have just the diff view. Um, you can also view the old version versus the new version, and uh, you know obviously the old version didn't exist, so there's nothing. New version exists. Uh, go back to diff because I I think diff is more useful, but sometimes it's useful to see the old versus the new. Um, you can see the line see lines of context, which this is gets much more interesting when you have actual changes, and I'll show you that in the other repository. Um, you can have it ignore white spacing, which you know s sometimes is very useful. Uh, you can do line diff, markup words, color words. Where you know these are just different ways of looking at diffs. I particularly usually like line diff because it's in the unified diff format. Um, but moving on, uh, at the head you get this little header section, which uh, you get to see the author, you know, the date and time of the commit, uh, the committer, and all that. And you get two other shaws. You get the parent shaw and the child shaw which uh, just, you know, and these are links, so I can click on here and go to the parent, or I can click on here and go to the child. So it's it's just kind of a way of navigating quickly. And it can also be useful uh, when looking at uh, merges, you know, if you want to go to, if you want to undo a merge, uh, usually you want to go to the first parent, because usually merges have two parents. But I'll talk more about that later. And there's also a link for the branch, which takes you right to the top of where the branch is pointing. Ours is all we have is master, so it's just pointing to the top. And this is where your repository is. The current state is right here, and that's the commit it's on. So that's just you know the basic diff view. There's also a tree view over here. So if I click on tree, I can look at the different files that are in uh, the repository um, at one time and see you know what the actual contents is. So this would show you you know a whole entire directory of what's in your repository, and it's not actually going to show you diffs when you're in the tree view mode. Um, so we'll go back to patch. So another thing is if you right click on the commits themselves, you get this little window, uh, you know, pop up uh, context. Uh, Oh, menu, anyway, so that allows you to actually say I wanted to see the difference between, say, this, I'd click on this, and if I click Control and then right-clicked, 
I could say diff this and select it and see the difference between those two, you know, uh, commits, and it'll show you the from and to. Uh, let's see, I could create a tag from here. I could write the commit to a file, which is sometimes useful if you want to send a commit, you know, over email to someone else, you know, say, this is what changed in this commit, uh, what do you think, or something like that to someone who, you know, doesn't have get. It can be useful. Um, so that's one thing you can do. Uh, you can create a branch based off of this commit right here. Uh, we'll talk more about branching later. You can cherry pick, which is something else that we'll talk about later. Uh, you can reset here, which allows you to actually reset the uh, repository. Right now, master is pointing here. You could reset it back to here. There are some uh, issues with doing that, but you know that that's something uh, we'll talk about more later. There's another. Uh, video that where I talk about uh, resetting and reverting and stuff like that. And I'll go mu into much more detail on that. So let's see. Uh, other things, uh, you know, you can update, reload, references, list references, start get GUI from here. Um, there are some preferences where, that you can set in here, like, uh, you know, the way things look and whatnot. Uh, whoops. Somehow I got... There we go. Get back here. Uh, view. All right. Here's something I'll show uh, in much more detail in another uh, oh, uh, tutorial, but views. This allows you to customize your view of what you're looking at, and there's like all kinds of options. This looks very complicated, but it's not as complicated as you m might think just looking at this for the first time. But we'll come back to that in a, later. And I don't know why it's going back to my command line. Um, there's also help, which I guess there's some help, but not a whole lot of help anyways. Um, so that's pretty much get K. Uh, it's a very useful tool in just uh, using your uh, viewing repository. And actually, before I prematurely end this video, let's go up and let's look at that Grails repository in get K. So this one is obviously a much more interesting uh, repository. Lots of stuff has gone on by different people. And actually, in this one, you actually get to see there are different files. So if I click on this file, it'll actually jump to that file. But it shows all the files in order that have changed in this particular commit. And you'll also see here that you know all these, fi all these lines have been added. And in this one, these lines have been removed and this these lines have been added now some some people might get a little confused about this cuz it's you know changed cuz these files are almost identical but it's like it shows you what you know the difference between what's got added and what's what's been removed so now uh there's actually if i right click an external diff it'll pull it up in an external diff viewer so this allows me to look into something like uh, this is using meld, and I can see you know the difference between two files in a side by side view versus you know the unified diff view. So you know that's just another thing you can do if you have uh, through your um, Git configuration set up the uh, oh the diff tool. So you can uh, get an external diff. You can highlight this. So, I'm not sure what it's only. Oh, you can highlight the particular commit, I guess. Um, but you can also do blame, which is another thing that I'll explain in more depth in um, another tutorial. So, that's pretty much Get K. Um, as I said, very useful. Get to know it very